As we press on, please welcome Stefan Schmidt. Stefan is the Chief Technology Officer at Unibrae and Chair of the EEA Eminent Task Force, or as many will know it as the Enterprise Integration Task Force. Stefan has been really integral within the EEA and the development of the baseline protocol, and he'll be discussing business integration, evolutions and development. Stefan. Thank you very much, Jack. Thanks for having me and uh, Unibride at this virtual conference. Thanks for the intro. Um, yeah, I'm CTO of Unibride calling in from, from Germany. We're a German blockchain integration company and uh, being a member of the EA integration task force, a baseline TSC member, um, uh, I wear different hats. And the great thing is that with integration, all these uh, things come together. So uh, in this presentation, I want to talk about uh, the EA integration task force eminent about baseline, how we at uh, Unibride approach the blockchain integration topic and also give a brand new hands-on example of integration via baseline in a DeFi project that we are just about uh, kicking off together with Chainlink, Provide and uh, Between. Um, check. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, so uh, first some context about the uh, EA. Uh, integration task force. This is organized under the main networking group and the integration task force is one of the task forces that are acting here. And uh, the focus is um, to build open source reference implementations and guidelines for mainnet integration. So for blockchain integration with uh, enterprise system of records. Uh, and we understand every uh, software that serves um, as a backbone for for business processes as a system of records, so for example, ERP systems. And uh, everywhere where uh, such a system of record needs to connect to a public Ethereum block uh, blockchain, what we understand as the mainnet here, we need integration. And um, with the task force, we are following different streamlines on integration. Uh, one is more process oriented, so um, basically explaining the world why blockchain is a good thing and not answering the prominent uh, um, question in 2019, why do we need blockchain at all? It's just this, uh, Bitcoin, isn't it? Uh, so getting the enterprises ready for making um, thoughtful use of a, a blockchain technology and the mainnet. And on the other hand, uh, getting the mainnet ready for enterprises so that we really have that level of technical integration um, that business can actually use it. Um, the outcome of the task force is, as I said, reference implementations and projects. It's also working on standards and also finding and describing the right um, use cases uh, that, are, um, that can be used to showcase everything that integration does. Um, these definitions are a little bit um, too close in my personal opinion because I think integration also is about bringing teams and people together. I think the, uh, a decentralized approach like blockchain combined with open source uh, projects that really drive things forward is actually integration itself. So as an example, I um, added some quotes from other eminent members. Um, why do we need integration? And I highlighted some, some key features. So for example, our friends from Envision Blockchain mentioned the uh, that it's important to enhance the user adoption because um, if you want to make use of a new technology, the best thing that can actually happen to you and your clients or the, the your employees is that they don't uh, know how that um, or they don't notice that new technology, but just use it because it makes sense. Um, Any block analytics um, add to this argument, um, especially by highlighting the integration aspects with non-blockchain legacy systems, which is still the 99% standard in the world, having uh, big ERP systems like, like SAP as the backbone of all your business processes and adding a new technology like blockchain to the picture um, is always about finding the right spot where to add it. And of course, not changing everything uh, overnight, but just kicking off the, the evolution and the development to decide the, the title of this presentation to make it more feasible to use this new technology. Uh, Lichion is also um, mentioning the synergies between projects. So that's what I really like because I think integration is also about 
bringing people, ecosystems, and businesses together. Um, from a more definition side, and integration is uh, the process of bringing together the component subsystems into one system, process of linking together different computing systems and software applications physically or functionally to act as a coordinated whole. Um, this is a target where if you talk about blockchain, I think a lot of the storytelling around blockchain or even the pitching that um, companies like like we at Unibright had to do on, on conferences, it somehow evolved over the last years. So um, in the beginning, it was more like, ah, okay, uh, we have blockchain, this is a distributed database. So we just put data in and everything's uh, fine. And we all share the same data. It's transparent and it's uh, publicly available. Um, so if you think about two companies using blockchain for integration, it would basically mean let's share a database and distribute it all over the world. Okay, um, another evolution was to more emphasize on the logic uh, part. So with smart contracts and everything around. Um, so understanding the blockchain more as a distributed world computer, which not only holds data or and additionally holds logic that is uh, performed in a trustful manner. Um, and you can still keep part of your processes off chain. And then uh, the current approach we're talking now is uh, trust. So more using the uh, blockchain as a common frame of reference. And this is interesting because um, the overlap gets, uh, gets lower with each uh, of these um, approaches, but the effect on integration gets higher because actually uh, companies who want to integrate systems of record, they um, are concerned about the three P's, privacy, uh, privacy, permission, and performance. So um, if you really want to use integration, you have to make sure that everybody wants to use that new, say, middleware layer like it's introduced with baseline. So um, we know that it's needed to have the privacy permission performance points covered, uh, easy access, pay per use, no restriction in uh, usage. This is what uh, John Wolpert also mentioned earlier. And baseline, um, understanding the mainnet as a common frame of reference, having um, the same tech stack for all participants to use, uh, actually builds the ground for really using the, um, the blockchain as a concept like middleware. So from our understanding at, at Unibright, also covering this with our partner provide and the baseline pattern is to build something around um, baseline, the product suite around baseline, uh, with the visual definition of processes and circuits, automatic code generation, um, including ERP integration and oracles, uh, and to offer baseline as a service with one click deployment, um, an integrated payment model for all integration costs, uh, for example, with a Unibright token, and also DeFi extensions. And I think it's important because as, as sexy the storytelling of having a mainnet as the main middleware is, you still need products that make this protocol uh, happen and make use of it. And the more you can automate with it, the more successful it will be. Um, this is what we try to build with uh, Unibride. And um, the example that we are currently building uh, and kicking off just these days together with Chainlink uh, provide in between the factoring company from, from Serbia is uh, bringing baseline and DeFi together. So uh, you see the process here. It will also end up in the public roadmap of, um, of baseline. So um, having a baseline invoice, uh, then assessment steps like anti-fraud, credit risk assessment, and so on, um, tokenizing an invoice, factoring it, and also adding additional services. And you have very, very many integration points here that are listed below from ERPs, uh, baseline as a, a tech stack, external APIs, oracles that have to be integrated. And uh, we are sure that this integration topic is the main driver for adoption of the complete blockchain space, because everybody who wants to make use of blockchain has to find a reasonable um, way to access it with the existing system landscapes they have. So for me, the next uh, months and years will be very exciting in uh, how far we can integrate other use cases, ecosystems and communities. And the EA and baseline is a perfect uh, place to start. So uh, I only can invite every developer or team who is interested in bringing the space forward to join. 
Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Stefan. That's some interesting stuff.